Tremors, stiffness, and slowness in movement are, are the most common symptoms of Parkinson's disease. It's a disease that more than a million Americans are living with right now, and unfortunately, the symptoms, they do get worse over time. While researchers are still working to find a cure, there are ways to help manage those symptoms. Here to share what that looks like is Kathy Morton with the American Parkinson's Disease Association of the Virginia Chapter. So great to have you with us today. Thank you for having me. This is a, a very important uh, topic for, for me especially, but for so many viewers at home, and I know we briefly touched on some of the symptoms, but what do those symptoms look like? Well, you see a lot of people and you're most often identified with tremor, mm -hmm. but that is not the only symptom. Mm -hmm. So it can be stiffness and just slowness of movement. And so all of those just affect their daily living every yeah. day. Yeah. And there's been a lot of talk about early detection. We've seen a lot of studies coming out about this. Yes. You know, when should you start seeking treatment? When should you have a question? Well, most often Parkinson's is not even diagnosed till years after you've had all these symptoms. And people always say, well, I had that symptom years ago, and mm -hmm. they didn't know what was causing it. So it's the early detection and is important to all the folks that, you know, maybe think they have it. Is there something early on that might be happening that makes you think, maybe I should go talk to someone? I think I hear a lot of people say, um, I've lost use of my hand, mm. or I've noticed a tremor in my little finger. And so things like that are, are what we see most often. Mm -hmm. And some that's of kind of an, early signs. Some, early. something that kind of makes you go, yes. I need to go to a doctor and see this. So yeah. what are the best ways to help manage that if you are diagnosed and you do have the right. tremors and things that we see so commonly right. attached to this? Correct. Um, the thing that we hear most often is exercise. It is as good as the medication. Wow. Of course, medication is mm -hmm. uh, levodopa, carbidopa is the number one prescribed medication. But exercise is important. Uh, for the person and good nutrition mm. and just we suggest that you join support groups because support groups you get to meet people that have Parkinson's and see what they're living with and they are a wealth of information. Mm. And we're going to dive into some of those resources here in just a moment but we know over a million people right now in the U.S. are living with Parkinson's disease. Uh, does this affect all age groups? Who's most at risk? Okay, it's usually diagnosed after age 50. Mm -hmm. Men tend to be a little higher, but even now we're seeing women are, that in, is increasing for them. Mm -hmm. Wow. And Parkinson's is, uh, or this month, April is Parkinson's yes. uh, Awareness Month, yes. and you've been really a vital part of this program. Talk to me just about your involvement and in bringing okay. this chapter really here to Virginia. Okay. Well, I went to work at Westminster Canterbury 39 years ago and mm -hmm. when I was there I found out about a support group which is the Circle Center Support Group mm -hmm. and got involved in that and that's been in existence for almost 40 years. Then we formed a chapter and I became president of that and then in 2021 the Virginia Beach and the Richmond chapter merged and we became the Virginia chapter and it's just been just taking off the ground running. We have two great people in the roles that are helping down in Virginia Beach. Catherine and Naomi are just doing a great job. And you have a lot of events coming up, right, as part of the Virginia chapter? We do. I'm excited. There's a motorcycle rally coming up on April the 29th, and it's um, a um, brewery, and Hardywood Brewery is doing um, a an event so we're looking forward to all of those in this Richmond area. And will that also help raise money? I know there's continual research, correct? It is. Um, West, um, American Parkinson's Disease is an organization that started in 1961 and has raised 226 million dollars for research. Wow. So all of the monies that we raise will go to the research. For, to find the cure for Parkinson's. Mm -hmm. And we know that when you get a diagnosis like this, it can be difficult for family members and caretakers. Is there support mm -hmm. for them as well? It is, They're the support group, if you go to the um, American Parkinson's Disease Virginia chapter website, you can find a list of support groups in the whole state of Virginia. Yeah, my yeah. mom, she was a caretaker mm -hmm. for my grandmother who had Parkinson's right. disease. And so it's good to know now that all of these resources are really available for those families. It really makes a big difference. Okay. Uh, if you could give us the website just one more time so that folks can tap into these resources and all of the events that are gonna be happening here in Richmond. Okay. It's APDA Virginia. 
-hmm. No, APDA Parkinson's um, slash Virginia. Awesome. Kathy, thank you so much for being right. here. This was so important. All right, great thank to you. have you.